MVP. So, we have quite a lot of stuff to go through today in DML. Lots of dragons to get hatching. Um, lots of news and stuff to go through. But, you know, it was DML's 6th anniversary yesterday. And they did ask, how many years have you been playing DML? Personally, if I go back to episode 1 of the first video of DML I ever made, it was uploaded on January 15th of 2015. Which means that I probably... Um, recorded it on the 13th or 14th, but either way, it'll be six years of DML soon, and uh, along with that, you know, we've got a sixth year anniversary specialness, but we've also got a divine mini event, I guess, if you want to call it that, and I did post a little bit about this yesterday, but we have a new Dragon Board event coming, which has the new dragon in it for this year. We have Bottomless Dungeon with Quartern in it. We have random chess rewards. But the thing that's on a lot of people's minds are those divine tickets and the possibility of getting Zeus out of them, which is pretty cool. And another thing that's actually I'm interested in is this thing that you'll see that's called Ruins Milestones. And apparently we can get divine tickets from doing ruin stuff, which sounds very weird. But for anyone that did miss it, the inside the 6th anniversary chest from the 11th to the 21st, we will have the chance to get the Bamboo, Red Talon, Hellion, and Zeus Dragons from the Divine Tickets that we use. So, um, if you want Zeus, this may be your time to try. But along with that, we do have the weekly event schedule, so that pretty much lists everything, but... You know, lots of stuff coming up. So from the 11th to the 18th, we have the new Bottomless Dungeon with Divine Tickets. So you're going to want to get in on that. And the Quartern Dragon is the available special dragon with bonus chances in it. Or bonus chances to get it. And Chef inside the Dungeon Shop. Then we've got the Anniversary Event. As part of the 6th Anniversary, we'll be running a special event with Divine Chess. Collect Divine Tickets, open chests, and claim fantastic rewards to celebrate our birthday. Does this mean an Ancient Event is coming in February? Maybe. Let's not think too far ahead. But then, the 11th to the 21st is that Dragon Board Event. So roll the dice and move around the board to open dice chests and collect parts for the following dragons. Runic Dragon, Sunset Dragon, and the brand new 6th dragon, which is confirmed as being an epic. We will have daily bingo cards, which can unlock the snow globe dragon and gives us divine tickets as well. And then the one that I'm looking forward to is double troubles. Fill the double trouble meter by rolling doubles. Win every battle to unlock the 5th dragon. Because even though I have been playing every year and almost every day, um, I didn't actually get 5th Dragon last year, so I want it. And then from the 14th to the 21st is that Ruin Milestone thing, which says explore Dragonlandia's ruins to earn Ruin XP and collect Divine Tickets from Milestone Rewards. Sounds weird. Then we've got Golden Opportunity Ginger, Dinner Time Zhuanzang, uh, we've got 2 times Power Boosters in Clan stuff, cool. And then the Dragon of the Week is the Bunt dragon which if you don't know who mr bunt is we got him a very long time ago where are you mr bunt i actually have no idea where i put him but you know all of these yearly special dragons will be coming out i imagine and i don't believe we've got the image file for the new sixth dragon yet although rumors are saying it's basically just a dragon with cake on its face um i'm very much looking forward to seeing that but getting this guy as the Dragon of the Week sounds good as well. So that is all of the upcoming stuff, really, that you really want to get your eyes peeled on. Uh, basically, the Dragon Board event is like a mini ancient event. So um, we'll see what happens. But aside from that, like I said, we have lots and lots of dragons to hatch. We've also, of course, got weekend events. So we've got this one that has Mr. Eagle in it. And we've also got the dinner time event, which has... Mr. Poshy in it, so make sure you're participating in those. We've still got the solo event to keep progressing in, and uh, the breeding blitz for anyone still going for that. But without further ado, I think it is finally time to hatch 3 4. 3 4, it is time. It has been so long, but it's time for you to finally join the rest of your Apollo brethren in your 
habitat. You know, look at them. They're all so beautiful and wonderful together. Seeing all four of them prancing around, apart from the big guy. You know, my life is complete, but three, four. Well, we've got three, three, two, three, three, and uh, his name is Rap. That needs to be changed immediately. Um, so let's change you to three, four. Three, four. There we go. And so the collection is now complete. Now, I don't care about any other collection for the rest of the year. We've got three, four. That's all that I wanted. And of course, this does take us closer to Mr. Penguin, which I'm looking forward to. Might as well open these chests while we're here. Uh, speaking of which, there are more chests in the Whale Mart. Which I may actually end up buying this time, just for the sake of it. But, you know, nothing in those two as to be expected. Of course, along with 3-4, we also have some more dragons that are new to me. We did manage to breed the Vulture Dragon, as you can see, and adding Mr. Vulture to our collection, I'm very, very happy to add him also. The Vulture Dragon prioritizes survival above everything else. He usually expects the worst in every situation so that he can react appropriately when disaster strikes. The bright side of training a Vulture Dragon is that it's so easy to pleasantly surprise him. Wow, is this me IRL? That's actually me. Is that why it took so long for me to get this dragon? It just didn't want to. It didn't want to remind me of my own suffering IRL. Um, I don't know why it has bugged out just because I've got bunt there, but fine. You know, Vulture's not actually that bad of an epic for someone that was desperate for a shadow epic. Um, but he definitely used to be a lot better before the whole DCP shenanigan stuff came in. Uh, speaking of which, for random news, um, you may have noticed that some of the breeding timers for dragons are slightly different to what they used to be. And it's been confirmed on the forums, I believe, by Adam, that indeed they have actually changed some of the breeding times for some of the fire epics. And most of them have actually been reduced, which is good. But if you do end up seeing like the Agave Dragon with a seemingly really short breeding time, that's why it's about six or seven hours, I think now, which is much better than what it used to be, which was like over 10 hours. So I am happy about that. I also really love the colors on Vulture. I always have. This guy avoided me on my baby Android account years ago during a delight event, I think it was, and I've never forgiven him. But we finally got him in our collection now. And so the final dragon that we have is another birdie boy. Because, you know, we just got Vulture. But we've got another birdie boy here today. And that is Mr. Fire Mage. Look at him. He's so bright. He's so bright. And he looks so happy. I don't know. Maybe that's me just uh, pushing my own thoughts on him. But, again, this needs to stop breaking. Just because I've accidentally broken the game by searching for Bunt <laughs> doesn't mean I need to see it eight times. Anyway, fire mage dragons are troublemakers who like to seek out conflict and heat things up. Because of their fiery personalities, they're a great dragon to have on your side. And a very dangerous foe. Well, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Thank you for that game. But this is Little Lands, who of course was the reward dragon for the Sigil map. Which was super, super easy still. I'm waiting for the Sigil map to get legitimately impossible because that's going to be funny when we get to that stage but you no know, cute little baby but i think i do prefer the adult form of this dragon i don't know it just it has like a sort of regally burny look to it if that's even possible to be a look but you know we got fire mage here look he looks like he's just about to go and completely decimate someone or something you know what i mean like he's just got fire all over him. I just love it. And plus it's a bird, so that's a, a plus one in my books. But this is Fire Mage. We do have a second Fire Mage if we wanted to hatch a second Fire Mage, but for now he will sit in his habitat and probably not see the light of day. So aside from that, I've just been pseudo trying to breed for Polar Bear, but I already have Polar Bear, so it's not that much of a concern for me at the moment. It's mainly just trying to get through this solo event, which I am cutting very close. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting very close, which means that on tier 8, I pretty much 
can't really miss any resets if I want to finish off this event reliably. Gosh darn it, Iceberg, you are proving to be a menace to society. But, you know, main thing is on most people's minds getting those uh, divine tickets and things next week. I don't think the odds are going to be particularly high for getting Zeus. But even if we don't get Zeus, which we're probably not going to get, I am looking forward to the dungeon stuff. Because, you know, they did change all of these ruins and, uh, did I say dungeon? I meant ruins. But the ruins, um, themselves, you know, they changed everything and then it was just sort of, they left it. I know that we've had this weekly jackpot coming soon for most people, but it's just said coming soon for a very long time. A few players have had, like, dragon tokens in there before, but I want to see how they implement it in terms of a divine event, because maybe... Maybe, hear me out. Maybe they're using this mini sort of divine event to sort of test things before... Before they give us a, another new style of divine event. I think it's possible. I think it's very possible. And, you know, since we are getting this mini version of a divine dungeon event thing, maybe they will just skip over the divine event this time and go straight into an ancient event next month. I mean... Anything's possible, but um, we'll have to wait for some official confirmation, obviously. So, aside from everything else, we've also got the Whale Mart, which I'm immediately going to buy those dragon tickets, because I've got gold and not a lot to do with it. I also am going to buy dungeon tokens in exchange for 50,000 food, because 50,000 food is nothing. And then the rest of the deals here are gem deals. And now, if you're someone that ends up skipping a lot, then maybe relics of hatching are going to be worth it for you, but 99 gems is quite a lot. Normally with this premium sigil chest bundle, where you get five of them in exchange for 399 gems, I wouldn't buy, um, just because that's a lot of gems, but I'm going to do it so that you don't have to. And, uh, you know, if you want to see what your chances are of getting stuff out of five premium sigil chests and wasting 400 gems worth, well, I guess we'll see what we get, because what would I be hoping for out of this, um, acceptances, like rare acceptances, um, maybe some more purity daredevils, because they're still going to have use. I've already got one epic wonder, so I don't really need another set of wonders, but wonders probably still going to be good for a while, but I'm mainly looking for acceptances at this point. We're probably going to get a bunch of mirrors. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Show me why it's a mistake to waste my money. Do it. That's two rares. Wow. That's two rares. And it's a rebub. Wonderful out of town. <laughs> that have gone much worse. Wow. Wow, that was astonishingly bad. Jeez. I mean, we got lots of greens. Look at that. All the greens are the things I want. But the blues, <laughs> reverb. <laughs> like we got acceptances, we got wonders, we got daredevils, havocs, purities. I love these, but they're in the wrong rarity. Um, they're <laughs> mirror and reverb. Wow, game. You you can read my mind. See, that is an example of why you don't bank on RNG to give you things that you want. That's another reason I hate these premium sigil chests. I, I buy them anyway. Just because, honestly, I haven't really had much to do with my gems for a while. The last thing I ended up buying was the uh, hatchery upgrades not that long ago. And I've got to say, it is very freeing having four hatchery slots instead of three. Very freeing indeed. Almost like three, four, three, 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 two, and three. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep getting some more points. Yeah, I don't have Penguin yet. I have not been rebreeding for Dragon of the Month yet. And during the uh, the the Dice Board event, probably not going to be a good idea to do that during that event either. Because we're going to have to be breeding all the time. But as long as we get up to Penguin, which is at 3.8k, and then get that those double sigil chests at 5.4, I'll be happy. You know, we're probably going to do the whole thing, but um, just in general, those are my minimums for what I want. So, aside from that, you know, we've still got Delicious Days going on. So, the Cupcake Dragon, which was for the second anniversary of DML, is also available in a calendar event. You know, this calendar event, in comparison to some of the old ones, 
does kind of suck in terms of the rewards, like 10 gems, pretty lackluster, and you've got to have VIP on for that. But I did ask for calendar events to return, and if they start bringing them back, I'm not going to complain, because calendar events are basically just free stuff. And you know what's worse than free stuff? No free stuff. So why do I keep saying the word free? Free keeps coming into my dialect. Free, 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 four, free, free, two, free, 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 three. If I, if I actually turn into a cyborg, is, is that what I've devolved into now? I've actually become a robot cyborg, android bot? I don't know anymore. Anyway, you know, lots and lots of stuff coming out. Lots and lots of stuff to keep your um, eyes peeled on. But, um, you know, of course we're also going to have the shrine. And I didn't mention this earlier, but just in case you haven't read this before, they did mention that with the event, as part of the celebrations, there will be a set of event milestones that will reward players with special rewards. This event will also come with its own shrine, which will provide regularly divine tickets, as well as unlock a special set of rewards. Players who purchase the shrine will be able to get their hands on the Hades Dragon and the Springtime Dragon, in addition to many other bonuses it brings. And yes, Hades is indeed a divine as well. So there are like two divines, I believe, that we can get out of this. Let's go and break this side of the game again. Hades, you know, we've got Hades and Chrono Hades. But this Hades, I believe, is the one that is going to be coming in the event. But only if you buy the shrine. But, you know, if we have these sort of mini divine events and say they make Hades super easy to obtain but you just have to buy the milestone shrine for it. You know what? I don't even have an issue with that. Because my major issue with these events has always been that the divines and things like that have always been way too expensive. But if they bring them out in a milestone shrine and make it pretty easily attainable for those that buy it, I genuinely don't even have an issue. It's just like how when uh, they made Apollo free to play obtainable from the Dragon Master Pass before, which was great, but they gave you a second one if you bought the Premium Pass, and um, I honestly don't mind that, because, you know, that's like, what, three quid, four dollars maybe-ish, and you get yourself a Divine, so if you're a brand new player, it's like when they brought out Hypnos in a calendar event, do more of that, please, that was... It was like, even if you're a player that isn't super, super active and say that you don't get the best divines out of it, because at the time, Hypnos was pretty pants, not gonna lie. But it just meant that all players that were logging in and doing at least something in game got some sort of reward, and they got rewarded with this sleepy boy. But if we can see some more of that in the future, honestly, I think that is a good thing. And uh, seeing them change up into sort of mini style events and try out new things, you know, I'm not, I'm not angry about that. I like it. I like that they're trying things, and it's not just the same old fo formula again and again and again, times a million. You know, I kind of appreciate at least some sort of change. So we'll see how it is. If it sucks, I will obviously let you know my thoughts <laughs> i've done that many times but if it's okay i'll also say you know what good job although it is still a board event so there anyway for now i appreciate you being here get prepped and ready for some divines possibly and until next time i do hope to see you then <laughs>